Changing your life does not have to suck. And actually, I'll confess something to you here. Little secret. I don't know if you're ready. I'm going to hide behind my hat. The secret is that it can all start with 20 minutes a day. And I'm going to share what I think personally. If I went way back five years ago, the first time I really started implementing and studying personal development in my life, the number one habit that I think really kicked it all off for me is something super simple. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. If you are trying to get started, improve your life, and there's a whole lot that needs to change. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now I want to quickly tell you about a company I've partnered with called Blinkist because they are an awesome service that can help you reach your goals. Now in today's age, it can be really hard to find the time to sit down and learn more. And it's not easy when you have the likes of social media that's super addictive and time consuming. So you might think you don't have the time to read a book or to improve yourself. But there's an app I highly recommend called Blinkist. Now, Blinkist is the only app that takes the best insights, like the need-to-know information from thousands of nonfiction books, condenses them down to just 15 minutes so you can read them or listen to them, so you can get the key points to go ahead and improve your life. Now, right now, there's over 8 million users using it, and there's a massive library. For me, the cool part is that a lot of it is personal development, business, and health. Now, for me, I like Blinkist because there are some books that are really long and pretty intimidating, that I've wanted to read, but I've been procrastinating on, and I got some of the key points instead. You know, for example, I was using Blinkist yesterday when I was driving over to my girlfriend's place, listening, re-listening for me, to Think and Grow Rich. And it was really cool to be able to do the whole book just in the drive over to her place. So I've read and listened to a bunch of books, and I highly recommend you check them out. If you're into personal development and business, I would check out Think and Grow Rich, The One Thing, and Good to Great by Jim Collins. Now, right now, Blinkist has put together a special offer just for my audience. So if you want, you can go to Blinkist.com forward slash Alex, which will give you a free seven-day trial. So again, the first 100 people that register are going to get that free trial. If you go to that link, it's the first link in the description. So what is Alex's Mondo secret for personal development, especially where you don't know where to begin or how? It's three-part ritual, and it's super simple. The first thing is pick a 20 minute window you can consistently do, I would recommend in the morning, so that you're thinking about it all day long, where you're consuming personal development information specifically, and you're coming up with what I call the OD for the day. Okay, so let's jump into this. I first recommend a 20 minute window in the morning because more than anything, personal development is changing the way you show up during the day. It's changing the habits you do on a daily basis. And what better way to do that than in the morning? Before you eat breakfast, make a food choice. Before you drive to work, make a direction choice and a work choice. Before you talk to your partner and make an unconscious choice about how you're going to respond or act. When you start in the morning, you're already priming your day because you're deliberately going to go through the day differently from the previous programming you may have done for 20 years. The second thing is to either read or listen to some kind of personal development material. Again, this is very specific. You're not just listening to a fiction book, Harry Potter. You're actually reading something that's goal-oriented to improve your life. You know, for example, I've recently been going through one of Jim Rohn's audio tapes, as well as Lead the Field by Earl Nightingale, one of my all-time favorites. Now, the point is that you're listening to material that's helping you think about how you're going to improve your life. To me, this is the real law of attraction. You're thinking about how you're going to improve yourself Therefore, you will go on and improve yourself. That, to me, is the true magic of the law of attraction and not manifesting a million dollars. The third thing is you're going to pick your OD for the day. Your OD stands for one dominant intention. Okay? The difference with having an OD is this is the before, this is the after. The before is, you know what? I'm just going to wake up. I'm going to go hang out with my girlfriend. If she gets pissed at me, I'm going to react and get mad back. Versus... My goal is to take super good care of my girlfriend, do the things that she loves, that she appreciates. So then, next time she gets pissed at me, I realize my goal is to take care of her. So why would I react like that? The difference is, I said I wanted to get fit and lose weight this year. Before, I still go to Starbucks, get my venti coffee, I get my muffin, I go to work. After, 
the morning I just said, I'm going to be conscious about what I'm eating. Am I really going to get a coffee this tall with extra sugar and cream with a blueberry muffin? Or am I going to maybe hold off on the muffin and get a fruit cup instead to start? The difference is, I'm going to go through the day buying what I want, doing what I want. It's Friday night. Let's get drinks. I'm going to have wings and beer. Versus, I said, I was going to track my finances on a daily basis. Do I really want to spend a hundred bucks tonight on Friday night? Or do I want to save that to go fly to Paris this summer? That's the difference between having your OD and no OD for the day. So if you're trying to figure out how, when, where, why, all these questions about improving your life, begin with the morning 20 minutes dedicated to personal development and picking your one OD for the day. And just today will be such a good day, it'll be obvious that this is a very simple ritual that can improve your life. And then you can expand upon it from there. But it all begins with the intention to live today, one day differently. And that is my master of the day philosophy. So I hope that helps you guys. Before you go, comment below. Let me know what is your one OD gonna be for today, all right? Comment there below, let me know. And of course, you can check out my last videos right there and right there.